Hey guys, it's Allie. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing part two of trying different chocolates. If you guys wanna watch the first trying chocolates video, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So today we're gonna be trying six different chocolates. I've never tried any of these before. Remember guys, all the trying foods videos, I've never tried any of them. I'm gonna take you guys through the chocolates that we have today. So we have a zero bar. I don't know what these are. It kind of looks like a type of truffle or something. I have no idea. Well, I just read the packaging and it says, best if kept cool. Well, I haven't been keeping it cool. I've been keeping it at room temperature. So <laughs> I think it's too late to put it in the fridge. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna try it at room temperature. We got Whoopers, Whoppers. I don't know how to pronounce this. This one you guys kept asking me to try. I've never tried these ever in my life. And a lot of you guys really like this one. Apparently they're like crunchy circles, spheres. I don't know, I've never tried them before, but a lot of you guys said that you really like these. Oh, and apparently they're made by Hershey's, so that's really interesting. To add to the list, we're gonna be trying Hershey's Gold. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this one. It's peanuts and pretzels and white chocolate, I'm guessing. We also have the O. Henry with Reese. I don't know if you guys know what Reese is. It's like peanut butter, chocolate, like Reese cups or something. I don't think it has caramel in it, so I think we should be okay. Never mind, it has caramel in it. We also have Mirage. Mirage? Mirage? I don't know. It says real bubbly milk chocolate. I'm gonna like guess that this is gonna be kind of like an arrow chocolate bar, we'll see. And last but not least, this one I was very confused and I laughed so hard when I read the packaging and this chocolate bar is called <laughs> For Fun. Cause you know, sometimes you just need a for fun. All right, so let's try these and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off with the whoopers. Whoopers, whoppers, Wha whoppers. <laughs> If you guys have watched my other um, trying foods videos, I really dislike things that get stuck in my teeth. So like, hopefully these will be like, not sticky. All right, so they're in the little box and they just look like balls of chocolate. All right, so as you guys know, we're gonna be rating everything on 10. And I'm gonna tell you guys if I would buy these again. So let's try the whoopers, whoppers. <laughs> oh, it's really crunchy. Oh. Okay. You know, it's okay. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of cereal. It kind of like reminds me of like, Cocoa Puff cereal or something. That's, is that just me that feels that way? It didn't make me want to gag. It wasn't too bad. Um, so whoopers or whoppers. I don't know how to, I don't know which one it is, but I'm probably gonna give whoppers a, I'll give it like a seven or eight on 10. Would I buy these again? No, no. They weren't too bad. I don't know why, guys, why do you like these so much? Can you guys tell me, like, why do you guys like these? All right, next we're gonna try the Mirage. Real bubbly milk chocolate. It's by Nestle, and I have a feeling that it's gonna be sort of like an arrow. Like, if it's like bubbly and like milk chocolate, that's what I'm guessing it's gonna be like. Kinda looks like this. Smells like chocolate, it smells okay. I think. <laughs> Let's try Mirage by Nestle. Mm, okay. Exactly as I suspected, it's like an arrow, arrow bar. I'm so sorry, you guys, if I end up having chocolate all over my teeth. Not gonna lie, I think this is just as good as an arrow bar. So like, and it's this bar is pretty big too. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. I think this is literally the equivalent, uh, aside from like, they're not shaped, it's not shaped in like little bubbles, but it basically tastes the same thing as an arrow bar. So it's like kind of the equivalent. On 10, I'm gonna give this one a definite 10 on 10. 
super good and you know I didn't see anything wrong with it so yeah I'll definitely give it a 10 on 10. Would I get this again? If I remember how good it is yes I will get it again <laughs> but you guys know me with my memories like I don't remember anything. Next we're gonna try the Zero. Cue the Chris Brown song. Guess how many nights I've been thinking of you Zero. Okay, so this is milk chocolate. As you guys witnessed, I literally just read that you should probably put this in the fridge or somewhere cold before you eat it, but we didn't do that. Apparently this is imported from Belgium by Real Confections, so God knows what this is gonna be. I don't know, it kind of looks like, from the picture, it kind of looks like a type of brownie or something. So I don't know, but let's try it. So basically the printing on the chocolate bar kind of looks like ancient Egyptian <laughs> type of Atlantis printing. Let's just try it. Boom, it's soft. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So the chocolate itself, I thought it was gonna be really like hard, but it's really soft. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like the chocolate on the exterior of the bar is like normal hard chocolate and then inside it's like a soft chocolate. I'm gonna get chocolate all over my face, watch. On 10, I'll probably give it a seven on 10. It wasn't bad, um, but it's not I don't think it's like the kind of chocolate I would buy and eat. It did have that kind of like brownie, as I suspected, kind of like a brownie type of chocolate feel. I guess it's just not my kind of thing, but it's pretty good. If you guys want to try this one, I would recommend trying it if you guys haven't tried it before. Have you guys ever seen it, any of these? Maybe it would have tasted better cold, but I didn't read the packaging, so I would not buy Zero again though. Sorry, Zero. All right, so so we're gonna try the Hershey's Gold next. I don't know if you guys agree with my way of thinking, but pretzels and chocolate, it's like a match make in heaven. I love pretzels and I love chocolate, so I'm gonna expect this to taste like the best freaking chocolate. Hershey's, I don't think they ever do wrong, but I don't know, it's peanuts and pretzels. So let's see what this is like. Basically, it looks like this. Okay, so it smells like peanut butter. I don't know where they put the pretzels in it, so I'm gonna guess that this is gonna taste just like a peanut butter block. <laughs> so let's try the Hershey's Gold. Um, okay. I expected it to be more salty, but it's pretty sweet. The pretzels are really small, so it's hard to actually taste the pretzels. It literally just tastes like if you mixed white chocolate with like a million tons of peanut butter, but it was okay. Literally just tasted like peanut butter, so I don't know. If you want a bar of peanut butter, <laughs> Hershey's Gold is the way to go. All right, so for Hershey's Gold, I'm gonna give it a, I'm actually gonna give it like a six on 10. I wasn't really impressed with it. I feel like I was expecting maybe a little bit more pizzazz or more pretzel or more of like a conflicting type of uh, flavor. Would I buy it again? No. So we're gonna try the O. Henry Reese peanut butter bar. Oh, Henry bars are pretty good. After trying the peanut um, Hershey's gold bar, like, I don't know, today I'm not feeling peanut butter a lot. Like all O. Henry bars, uh, the bar itself just looks like a giant turd. It just looks like a giant turd. It, it looks so bad. So it doesn't ever look that great, but an original O. Henry bar is really good. So let's try the O. Henry and Reese bar and let's see how, what it tastes like. Hmm. Okay. You guys know I don't like caramel. Although in O. Henry bars, they don't put a lot of caramel, which is tolerable. Um, I find that it was okay. Um, 
literally just tastes like an O. Henry bar. I don't really taste like a Reese feel to it. Maybe because O. Henry bars originally have peanuts in them. So I don't know, to be honest, it just tastes like a normal O. Henry. It does taste good though. So I'm gonna give O. Henry Reese a nine on 10. Would I buy it again? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say I won't buy it again, but um, if, let's say for instance, they ran out of regular O. Henry's, I would just grab the Reese peanut butter O. Henry. I literally find they're pretty much the same. I don't see much of a difference, um, but you know, it's still good. And for the final chocolate we're gonna be reviewing today is the For Fun chocolate bar. This one is for fun. <laughs> Hopefully we will have a lot of fun trying it. Okay, I, I'm bad with jokes, okay? Don't don't be too harsh on me, you guys. Yeah, it's, it's really strange. I have no idea what this brand is, but it's imported from Turkey, so. It's a milk chocolate coated wafer, so maybe it's gonna taste like a Kit Kat. All right, so let's try the for fun. I can't wiggle my eyebrows very well in like a beanie, so. All right, <laughs> let's try this. It, honestly, oh, I don't know. Basically the bar looks like diagonal lines on a giant brick of chocolate. I don't know, it smells like a weird type of chocolate. Don't be alarmed, <laughs> don't be alarmed. Like, I don't, I think it's safe, I think. <laughs> All right, so let's try the for fun. I don't see the speciality of this. It kind of tastes a little bit like a coffee crisp, but like without the coffee. And coffee is life, so nothing is gonna be coffee. The amount of chocolate is more than the amount of wafer, so I'm not a big fan of that. The quality of the chocolate was kind of mediocre. Um, if you just want to give your children a chocolate bar, you know, you can just get it for fun. On 10, I'm gonna give for fun a... I'm gonna give it a 6 on 10. It wasn't really that fun. Would I buy it again? Hell no. <laughs> All right guys, so that is the end of our trying chocolates part two. Have you guys tried any of these chocolates? And if you have, which one would be your preferred chocolate? If you guys have any other foods you guys would like me to try, comment down below uh, if there's anything you guys would like me to give a go. Comment down below what is your favorite chocolate. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay loyal, stay royal. Bye guys!